Assalamu alaikum. Hello everybody. Today our video is about ultrasound signs of ovarian torsion. Introduction. A denexial torsion, a gynecologic emergency, occurs when the ovary or fallopian tube twists on its supporting ligament, leading to a compromised blood supply. Prompt diagnosis is critical to preserving ovarian function and preventing further complications. Making imaging, particularly ultrasound, an invaluable tool, here we review the key ultrasound signs and the criteria used to diagnose adenexial torsion effectively. Understanding adenexial torsion, why ultrasound? Adenexial torsion usually presents with sudden severe pelvic pain, nausea and sometimes vomiting. However, these symptoms are non-specific and can mimic other gynecologic or gastrointestinal conditions. Ultrasound, especially transvaginal ultrasound, is the preferred initial imaging technique due to its accessibility, safety and the high sensitivity for identifying characteristic signs of torsion. K ultrasound findings for adenexial torsion. Number 1. Enlarged ovary. 2. Peripheralization of follicles. 3. Free fluid in the pelvis. 4. Absence or reduction of ovarian blood flow. 5. Whirly bore sign. 6. Ovarian mass or cyst as a lead point. 7. Follicular ring sign. 8. Abnormal location of the ovary. Number 1. Enlarged ovary. One of the most consistent findings in adenexial torsion is an enlarged edematous ovary. Normal ovaries typically measure up to 4 times 2 times 3 cm with a mean volume of 9.8 ml. The ovary often appears over 4 cm in diameter due to venous and lymphatic congestion. The enlargement results from embedded venous outflow which causes the accumulation of fluid within the ovarian stroma. Although enlargement is a frequent sign, it is not specific to torsion and can occur in other ovarian pathologies. Number 2. Peripheralization of follicles. The follicles within an enlarged ovary tend to arrange themselves in a peripheral string of bears pattern around the ovarian cortex. This pattern occurs due to increased intra-ovarian pressure, pushing the follicles to the edges. The presence of peripheral follicles is considered highly suggestive of adenoxial torsion when combined with other signs. Number 3. Free fluid in the pelvis. The presence of free fluid or pelvic ascites in the cold sac can be observed on ultrasound. This fluid is usually a result of ovarian hemorrhage or leakage from the fallopian tube secondary to the torsion. Though non-specific, free fluid adds a diagnostic weight when seen with other signs of torsion. Number 4. Absence or reduction of ovarian blood flow. Doppler ultrasound is instrumental in assessing blood flow to the ovary. In torsion cases, arterial and or venous blood flow may be absent or reduced. Arterial flow. In complete torsion, arterial flow is often absent. In partial torsion, it may be diminished but still present. Venous flow. Venous flow is typically the first to be compromised due to the compressibility of veins, making it a more sensitive indicator than arterial flow. The absence of blood flow strongly suggests torsion but is not definitive as a normal blood flow doesn't rule out torsion.
Number five, whirly ball sign. The whirly ball sign appears as a twisted vascular pedicle on color Doppler imaging. It presents as a swirling or spiral structure at the ovarian hilum. The sign reflects the torsed pedicle of the ovary and fallopian tube where the blood vessels appear twisted around each other. The whirly ball sign is highly specific for torsion and when observed, serves as a definitive marker of adenexial torsion. Number 6. Ovarian mass or cyst as a lead point. Adenexial torsion is often associated with the presence of an ovarian mass or cyst, which acts as a lead point for the twisting. Common findings, dermoid cysts, para-ovarian cysts, and hemorrhagic cysts. When a cyst or mass is seen along with an enlarged twisted ovary, the likelihood of torsion increases significantly. Number 7. Follicular ring sign. The follicular ring sign appears as a hyperechoic ring around individual follicles within the ovary. The follicular ring sign is highly suggestive of adenexial torsion and when present with other signs. While not always present, the follicular ring sign is considered relatively specific to adenexial torsion, particularly in cases where blood flow may still be partially present on Doppler. It can be an early indicator of torsion even before complete blood flow obstruction is visible on Doppler imaging, making it valuable in diagnosing partial or intermittent torsion. Number 8. Abnormal location of the ovary. When the ovary twists around its ligamentous supports, which can cause it to shift from its normal anatomical position, this abnormal positioning often results from the twisting or rotation which pulls the ovary and the fallopian tube into a displaced location. When an ovary is not in its expected anatomical position, especially when accompanied by other signs like an enlarged ovary, leak of blood flow, or the whirly ball sign, it strongly suggests distortion.